Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss about the DC machines design. And the very first topic is output equations and main dimension that we are going to discuss deeply today. The output equations there's a power developed in the armature that notation is the power developed in the armature notation is P A P suffix A A called A into I A. The E is induced EM of in volt, then armature current into 10 power minus 3. That is the power developed in the armature equation. The power means in terms of kilowatts. So induced EM of E it should be equal. From the EM of equation, we can write P pi Z N divided by A volts. Whereas P is the number of volts, pi is the Weber flux per flux in Weber then Z is the total number of conductors the N is the speed in RPS the A is the number of parallel paths so we can substitute in the E into the previous equation we can get P H should be equal when E we have substituted here and remaining part the I A into 10 power minus 3 but we know that total number of Sorry, total current in the conductor I Z it should be equal to I A divided by A. So we can replace I A by A into I Z. So the pi P pi into I Z into Z. So P pi into I Z into Z into small n into 10 power minus 3. So the power developed equation has been modified after substitution of these two equations. So the, from the specific electric and magnetic loading, the BAV average magnetic flux density it should be equal to the total magnetic loading that's a P pi divided by pi dl. Similarly, the electric loading, specific electric loading, it should be equal to total electric loading, that's I Z into Z divided by pi D. From these two relationship, we can find it out P pi as well as I Z into Z. So then the same value we are replaced in the previous equations, then we can get B A V into pi D L in terms of P pi, it should be equal to P A V into pi D L. Similarly, I A Z into Z it should be equal to A C into pi D. So, B A V into pi D L, A C into pi D, the remaining term, the N into 10 power minus 3, we are written. So, while you are multiplying this all, the pi into pi pi square and D into D D square L, B A V into A C into N into 10 power minus 3, so we can replace in the term of pi square B A V into A C into 10 power minus 3 into C naught. Whereas C naught is output coefficient remaining D square and L in, and small n. So now equation becomes the P A it should be equal to C naught into D square L into N. That is the output equation of DC machines. This output equation we are founded from basic three relationship. The first one is the EM of equation and specific magnetic loading and specific electric loading. From that we are founded output equation of DC machines. That's all. So from the D square L it should be equal to D square L it should be equal to PAV in divided by C naught into N. That is the d square l whereas d is the diameter then l is the length so this is the main dimension suppose we can consider motor the developed power in the armature it should be equal the rating of the machines see so p is the power rating the what they are given in the machines the power rating it should be equal to the developed power in the armature in the sense of motor if the given machine is the generator, the power developed in the armature, it should be equal power rating of the machines 
by efficiency theta means the efficiency this is applicable for the generator this is applicable for meter motor and the main dimensions as we discussed earlier the c not is the output coefficient then pi square bav and ac into 10 power minus 3 this from this formula we can find it out c not value and we can substitute c not and n is the speed in the problem itself they are given the speed then developed power in the armature they will issue otherwise they will give the rating of the machines from that we can calculate easily the developed power in the armature so once we have found the d square l we can we can find the L by tau. The L by tau normally the ratio between the pole core length to pole pitch. Whereas tau means that's a pole pitch. So normally the DC machines we are selected from 0.7 to 0.9. But the tau it should be equal to pi d by p. The tau it should be equal to pi d by p. The p is the number of pole. D is the diameter. The L is the pole pitch. So from this relationship the ratio of pole core length to pole pitch the value they will be issued in the problem itself if they are not given you can select between this this range that's in 0.7 to 0.9 so at the l by tau suppose if the l by tau value is they are given in the problem 0.7 the l by tau it should be equal to the value is 0.7 so l it should be equal to 0.7 into tau the L it should be equal to 0.7 into tau. The tau we have uh, in formula the pi d by p. So the L it should be equal to pi the constant value, the number of poles we can substitute from the given problem. The d we don't uh, we don't know the d value we don't know. So we can find it out easily the L in terms of d. After finding a L value in terms of D, we can replace into D square L. So, we can find it out D cube. Then, from that, we can take the, the cube root and we can find it out easily in the D value. So, again, the D value we are substituting in terms of L. We can find it out D and L. That is the main dimension of uh, DC machines. The same thing we can design. The same thing we can design in the problem. Okay, thank you.